What works? It's up to a manager to potentially identify a situation and potentially offer suggestions. Apart from obvious mistakes, it would really come down to how observant I think that their direct supervisors were and the company as a business in just being able to observe people and understanding, I think, potentially human nature and understanding when a person might be having an issue. A particular mistake that someone makes, by the time the next person picks it up and then goes back, the amount of downtime that you could potentially lose, not to mention the embarrassment if a job went out and it got delivered to the, to the wrong address because, say, someone's misread a pallet number or an invoice docket number. Good language and literacy within a team, I think, would be highly important to foster the team environment and potentially one person could be alienated from within a team environment because of their lack of understanding. So it's not being able to do your job because you're busy filling out paperwork because something happened, because someone couldn't quite understand what they had to do. Or we got the new RS5005 machine in and instead of doing it the normal way they were shown, now there's a new step and someone threw them the manual and said, oh, read that, there's a couple of updates. I can't read this, but I'll try. And that's the thing, people have so many coping mechanisms to try and get people to believe that they are doing the right things and can do the right things and can understand, and they're so good at it. Um, it's deception, but it's deception for success. They think they'll be successful by deceiving other people that, yes, I know what I'm doing, but they could be putting themselves and others at risk. We knew we had an issue because the, the information or the, the guys out in the field are telling us, we can't use these computers. We're really scared. We don't know what to do. What if we break it? They were just, they were just frightened. There was a, there was a lot of fear um, because it's an aging workforce. There's a lot of fear around technology because it was different. When a role is advertised, it doesn't matter what role it is, whether it's a white collar or blue collar role, um, they do compulsory language literacy and numeracy testing. It's really up to a business to whether they can see the value in something and can see a return on their investment.